Hello friends, this video on physical and chemical changes part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction, Physical Change, Physical Change Examples, Chemical Change, Chemical Change Examples, Rusting of Iron and Crystallization. So what comes to your mind when you think of change? When you go to a parlor, get a haircut, that's a change, right? Because uh, your look gets changed, your hairstyle gets changed. So haircut is a change. You have a piece of pe paper and you tear it into two pieces. What happens? It changed. Initially, it was just one piece of paper, which was kind of rectangular in shape. But now it is like two different pieces of two haphazard shapes. So this is a change. You have a piece of paper and you just burn it. What happens? Initially you had a paper and now what do you have? You do not have the paper at all. Instead you have ashes. So that's a change. You have chocolate, the dairy milk, maybe your favorite one. Now instead of keeping it inside the refrigerator, you just kept it, kept it outside and it was so hot that day and what happened? The chocolate melted. Now once the chocolate starts melting, what happens? It's no more the same bar of dairy milk. So it, it kind of changed, its shape changed, its size changed. So that is also a change. You have an egg. You didn't feel like having the egg, so you just prepared an omelette. So where's the egg now? The egg is no more there. The spherical egg is gone. It is changed into an omelet, which has a different shape, which has a different composition, which tastes different. So this is again a change. So all these things which I'm talking about. So what are these? I mean, what is change in that case? So change is nothing but anything that becomes different undergoes a change. So different is the word that defines change. So anything that looks different. So when we go for a haircut, so the look is different. So the hairstyle is different. That's why it is a change. When I tear a piece of paper, so now the torn pieces, they look different from the original single piece of paper. So that is why it is a change. When I burn a piece of paper, I do not have the paper anymore. Instead, I have ashes. So the ashes are different from the paper. So this is again a change. So anything which becomes different, so that is nothing but a change. Now in our day to day life, we encounter a lot of changes around us. We see a lot of things changing. So here in this lesson, we are going to talk about such changes. So these changes can also be understood from the perspective of science. So there is always a science, always science involved behind everything. So many things which uh, appeared magical to you, but actually there is some science behind it. So gradually as you learn more science, you'll get to understand more of the physical phenomenon that happens around you, more of the uh, various uh, scientific things taking place inside our body. So we get to know all about that. So here uh, we will talk about uh, various types of change. So let's look at this example which is given on the screen. So what do we see here? We see here a piece of paper and how does it look? It looks like a rectangular sheet with something written over it, white in color. So that's how its shape, size, appearance, texture is. Now when I burn this paper, what happens? What I get? I get ashes. So now in any way, do you think that the ashes look similar to the paper? No way. Ashes, they are like powder. They are some grayish black in color. So their shape, size, color, texture, everything is different from the paper which we had earlier. So just burning the paper, so burning, the process of burning actually changed one, sub, one object to another. So this is a change. So this is an example of a change. Now, there can be many different types of changes. Now, some changes can cause a change in shape. Some changes can cause a change in size. For example, if you look at this uh, torn pieces of paper, what do you see? So initially, it was just one piece of paper which was quite bigger in size. 
now that it has been torn into pieces you have more pieces of paper but each of them is like quite smaller when compared to the initial single piece of paper so there is a change in size here not only size in fact the shape has also changed if you look at this melting chocolate so here also you see that there is a change in shape there is a change in the texture so initially it was quite solid bar but now it is like a semi liquid one of the best example that you can consider is ice water and water vapor you take some water in a bowl when you start heating the water after some time what happens you see that the water starts getting converted into water vapor so that is again a change initially we had the water in liquid form it was liquid fluid but now it is water vapor which is in gaseous form so the form changed similarly if you start freezing the water what do you get you get ice so this ice water and water vapor these are three different forms even though all of them are h2o so their chemical composition chemically each of them is h2o but this is solid this is liquid and this one is gas so their states are different so a change in state happened when you altered the temperature when you start heating water it changes to gaseous state when you start freezing water it changes to the solid state so this is again an a beautiful example of change so when i talk about change it is not necessary that there has to be a change in size only it can be size it can be shape it can be texture it can be the chemical composition it can be the state for example in this in case of water now let's look at another example let us suppose you have a beaker and inside that beaker you have a solution which is copper sulfate solution so this is let us say copper sulfate solution which is kind of blue in color bluish color copper, copper sulfate solution now in this copper sulfate solution we put some magnesium powder so let's see this is some magnesium powder what do you see what do you notice after some time you see that after some time the solution starts fading in color so the solution gradually turns colorless or white do you know why because this magnesium starts reacting with the copper sulfate and when it reacts with copper sulfate what happens magnesium reacts with copper sulfate to form magnesium sulfate and copper so this copper which is being formed this will start changing the color of this white magnesium powder into blue and this magnesium sulfate will start changing the color of the copper sulfate solution from blue to white so what is this this is again a change but in this kind of change you see there is no change in size there is no change in shape there is no change in texture also but what is the change here there is a change in the chemical composition initially the fluid was copper sulfate now the fluid is magnesium sulfate so there is a change in the chemical composition there is a change which has taken place internally so the change can happen in a lot of different ways So in this lesson we are going to learn about the different types of changes and how do we classify that which change is what type of change Now based on all these examples we have seen so far so we can see that changes can happen in a variety of ways Now thank you please visit www.examfeo.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.